Hi, I'm Dr. Basil Kawash. I'm an assistant professor of medicine in the Division of Allergy Pulmonary Critical Care at Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville, Tennessee. The subject of this presentation is mold allergy. Molds, think back to your high school biology class. There's an entire kingdom of fungal organisms or fungi. And molds, that's what they are. So there's just, just like there's an entire kingdom of animals, entire kingdom of plants, there are many, many different molds in the world. Not all of them are going to cause disease, but some of them do, and some of them can cause allergies. We're going to talk specifically about the molds that cause allergies and asthma symptoms, and not so much about molds that can cause other diseases, although we know that molds can be involved in things like sinus infections and maybe some other human diseases as well. Some people happen to be certain, allergic to certain species of molds. And when we talk about these molds, I'm not talking about bread molds, I'm talking about the mold spores that you might breathe in that are in a lot of ambient air settings. These are small mold spore particles that can be encountered either indoors, outdoors, sometimes both. People who have mold allergies, when they're exposed to these molds, they might experience symptoms that you typically associate with allergies. Sneezing, runny nose, itchy eyes, and if they have asthma, maybe coughing and wheezing as well. So what can you do about that? If you're allergic to molds, and you know if, you're, if you are allergic or not because you've been tested for it, but if you are allergic, you can try and avoid, avoid exposure to mold as much as possible. That means limiting indoor water spills, trying to stay away from indoor moisture, uh, using something like a HEPA filter for purifying the air, and in terms of outdoor exposures, maybe you want to stay away from settings like wet leaves or ponds and things like that where you might encounter breathing in more mold spores. You can also try using allergy medications. Over-the-counter medications can work really well, and nasal sprays also have a role to play if you are mold allergic and you want to treat, for instance, runny nose and other rhinitis symptoms. There is also a role for allergy immunotherapy or allergy shots in mold, and there is evidence that that works, but we think that mold immunotherapy may not work as well as other types of allergy immunotherapy. I think that the mainstay of treatment for mold allergy is medication and trying to avoid mold exposure as much as possible, especially in settings where you can control it like your own home. For more information, please visit the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology website, www.aaai.org. Thanks.